Many parents are pushing their kids to study fields with high job security post-graduation. And fine arts isn't one with a reputation for high-paying jobs after college. Uh, I think for a lot of parents and for a lot of students as well, going into the arts, there's a, there's a sense that there's a, a riskier choice than going to say business or something like that. It is what Marcy Yoho and her husband originally thought when their son Robbie, who's majoring in musical theater, decided he wanted to pursue the arts. Junior year of high school, Robbie came to us and said, I really think I'd like to study this in college. And my husband, who has a master's in electrical engineering and an MBA, looked at him and said, but wouldn't you like to be a pharmacist? The social cognitive dissonance is that the arts equals hamburger flipping. It's that attitude Dean Shaftel is working to change by ensuring students get to practice their craft their first year of school to better prepare them to find work in the arts. We are able to say to our incoming students, you will not live in your parents' basement when you graduate. You will have a job. Opportunities like working on films, performing in shows, and collaborating with other majors right out the gate is what makes this possible. Justin Daring, the assistant professor of instruction for the School of Film, says this is exactly the case for film students. So much of what happens in film learning takes place on the set, which is a space that the students create outside of the classroom. The program working to make school more affordable for its students by offering more financial aid and scholarships, leaving the program with a good problem to have, a lot of new freshmen in the fall. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do with all the students, but it, it's working. What's happening is students are going off and they're getting jobs and then they're telling their friends, oh, you should go to Ohio University.